The holy abode of Merseybeat is a weathered wooden platform beneath a lofty roof of mildewed masonry. In anticipation of the Cavern Club's next great thing, a new band named the Beatles, spotlights sparkle in the twin silvery mirrors of the 1960s microphones. Scylla White, or Scylla Black, as she would be known, is waiting in the hat check cubby as local Liverpool billionaire Brian Epstein, elegant in a custom suit, silk tie, and calfskin shoes, drops off his cashmere coat and joins the anxious crowd. Even though a skiffle band is performing, Epstein can't take his eyes off the lads who are ready to electrify the midday crowd. The untidy foursome strides onto the stage, mutters a few jokes, and then begins to play a rendition of Some Other Guy, a Merseybeat classic RB tune. Immediately realizing they will surpass Elvis in size, Epstein becomes enthralled. In the new British music biopic Midas Guy, which is about the guy behind the Beatles, the band's birthplace is reconstructed in its original form on that momentous day, November 9, 1961. Here it is for the first time, before the film hits theaters this fall. The Beatles would soon become global famous after learning their distinctive straight-backed bow from Epstein, donning black mohair outfits that were ordered by him and having their hair styled by his personal barber. He would join the Fab Four as their fifth member, a visionary and completely dedicated manager 